blessed children in the world. Thank you for coming before me this day, for giving unto me your time, your devotion, your praise and thanksgiving. I see you, my child. I hear every word of your prayers. I see your worship, your desire to know me better, your deep love for my Holy Spirit. I see you, my child. I know you well. I am your Father in heaven. I am all things. I am the beginning and the end, the Alpha and the Omega, the first and the last. I want to bless you this day, my child. I want to pour out my spirit, my blessing upon you and your family. I want to bring divine order into every area of your life my divine favour. I want only good things for your life, my child. I want you to experience joy, love, peace. Thank you, thank you for all that you are doing in my name, for my glory. Thank you for your dedication, your devotion. Rest in me this day, my child. Let things go. Let all the thoughts and worries of the world go for a moment. Close your eyes and breathe me in. Feel my love. Feel my presence. Feel my glory. I am within you, my child. It is there where I can be found. Feel me within you right now, my child. Feel my burning glory deep within, my presence. Be aware of my presence on the earth this day. In everything that you do, be aware. Be carriers of my presence, my Holy Spirit. I am tangible, my child. I can be felt. I can be heard. I am love, unconditional love within your soul. If you are born again, my child, we are one. Rest in me this day. Hand all heavy burdens to me, my child, and I will carry them for you. Spend time this day with me through worship. Dance, sing, rejoice. Be free this day, my child. Do not let the world burden you any longer. There is nothing to fear, my child, for I have you in the palm of my hand. I know the plans that I have for you, my child plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you a hope and a future. I am your future. I am your eternal life. And through my son, my glorious son, my skriyahashi precious one, karabasikiti yahashikati, you can be saved, forgiven and set free. Potarabasi through his blood that was shed for you in Calvary, for the forgiveness of sins and healing of your soul. He has made a way for you, my children. He is the light unto your path, the lamp for your feet, 
Aleria Nakashi Kiti Kapotarasi. He is the way and the truth and the life. He is the resurrection, your resurrection. If you put all of your hope and trust in him, my glorious son, you will pass through the wrath of judgment. You will not be separated from me at life's end. You will go from glory to glory. You will spend eternal life in my care. A place created for those who believe those who receive my message, those who bow their knee and accept Jesus Christ as their Lord and Saviour. There is no other path to heaven, my children. The path is narrow and few take it. Will you take this path, my child? Or will you walk with the rest of the world away from me away from my truth, my life, my love. Will you carry your sins into eternity and be judged for them? Motorabashiki to the wages for sin is death, my children, and separation from your God. Liriana Hashikikiya, you cannot carry your sin into paradise. It must be forgiven. You must repent. You must be cleansed by the blood of the Lamb, His sacrifice for all. Kashikiti, it was humanity that nailed Him to the cross. Sahala, remember this, my children. Humanity killed the Son of God. Willfully, He gave up His life. Karahashe karahashe kiti for you. Alehe anahashe kiti kapatotarabashi the anger and hatred of man against their god. Kashi kiti tia hashi kiti kia hashi kiti ki nailed him to the cross. And to this day, my children, let it in your hearts, the hearts of hatred, the hearts that despise me. Hashi, you would do it again. Allaha, you would nail your God, Kahashi, to a cross. Blessed children, my son came to the earth. He laid down his life for you. But I rose him from the dead. The resurrection power of God flowed through his veins. It is the same resurrection power that flows through your veins when you are born again, when your spirit becomes one with me, when we are united. And it is this uniting that brings your soul to paradise and sustains you for eternity. Without this karahashikitiya hashikita, your soul is absent from me. It does not know me. Irahashikiti, it is alone. Liriyanaka, it is not alive with my Holy Spirit. And it does not see the things of the spiritual realm. Kanta tarabasikita kashikiti, hear my glory. You cannot hear my voice, feel my power, my presence within your soul. If you are not born again, you are walking without your God. I cannot help you if you do not ask, if you do not believe, if you cannot receive. And life will not go well for you, my children. For you are living in your own strength, your own power your own wisdom and what do you know my child you only just appeared on the earth I am the beginning I know mankind 
Ashike tikiya and I am good. Nariyana Hashi, I can help you, my child. Halehe Ashikiti, I can walk with you. I can set you free this day from the chains which bind you, earthly chains, mental chains, emotional chains, baggage, hakaki and nahashi that you have carried all your life, the weight, the heaviness of sin and unforgiveness. When you become one with me in spirit, my child, when you are forgiven of all your sins, and set free through the blood of Jesus Christ. You change. Your eyes are opened. You don't want to carry the burdens, the baggage, the unforgiveness in your heart any longer. You desire to serve me on the earth. You desire to tell others about my love within you. This is because my spirit is one with you and it is my desire it is my desire for every child on the earth to come home to me. Therefore, when my spirit, when you are born again, when you are filled with my glory, and my spirit becomes one with you, when we are united, then it is my spirit living in you that draws mankind back to me through your words, your actions, my glory pouring through you my love I wish for all men to know me well during their lifetime I wish for every knee to bow and every tongue to confess that Jesus Christ is Lord I wish for you to know my son my beautiful son my holy son Oh, how I love him. The heavens adore him. He is radiant light, radiant glory, radiant beauty. He is peace. He is joy. He is magnificent. He is perfect. He is pure. And when we come to make our home within you by the Holy Spirit, all that he is becomes all who you are. When I look at you, I see him. I see his purity. Your sins are washed, clean. You are forgiven. You are made pure and holy in my sight washed white as snow and you never feel those heavy burdens again you are set free you are set free on the earth to live the best life possible to go from glory to glory the burden of sin is heavy my children the burden of unforgiveness weighs you down. It eats away at your soul, your mind, your emotions, until you are exhausted. And then, my child, depression comes, anxiety and fear, disillusionment, panic. You must let go of the past this day. Forgive those who hurt you. Forgive them in the holy name of Jesus and let them go. Do not carry the thoughts, the memories, the burdens one day longer. They are too heavy for your soul to take. Forgive this day and let go. Live in today, this present moment, for it is in this moment where I am. Feel my love within you right now. My burning glory, my presence, my Holy Spirit. Do not look for me in the past, my child. I am in today. I am eternal life. 
I am here with you now. I am present. I am tangible. Feel my love, my glory swirling through you and release my glory to the nations. Change the atmosphere, my child, through my presence. My presence that is in you now. I love you, my child. I want to give you all good things, but you must be open to my voice, my holy words, my love, my truth. Lay down all doubt and fear. This will do you no good. It will only waste time. Time that will take you away from me. My child, I want you to be with me every moment of every day. I want you to be consciously aware of my presence. It is possible to experience your God in every moment of your life, to be aware that I am walking with you each day. It is possible to hear my voice, for me to speak with you such as this one on one. You simply need to come and listen. I am not a God of silence. I have been speaking to my children since the beginning. Since the days of Adam and Eve, I have wanted to walk with my creation, to have a relationship with you, my children, to be your friend, your creator, your father. And I have been speaking to my children throughout the generations, those who have ears to hear, those who seek my face, those who hunger and thirst after righteousness and truth, those who receive my Holy Son as their Lord and Saviour, those who are born again. He tore the veil between heaven and earth. He has made a way for you to enter into my glory, my presence. I can walk with you in the cool of the day, but I can also lift your soul. I can also show you heaven. I can show you all which is to come. Just reach out your hand and place it in mine. I can reveal the beautiful heavens. I can show you my angels who worship night and day. I can show you paradise whilst you live upon the earth. I will allow you to feel paradise, my child, so that you can bring my heavenly paradise into your atmosphere, into your world, so that you can pour forth my glory through your willing vessels. I am pouring forth my glory this day, my children, through those who wish to receive my oil, the golden oil of heaven. Come to me this day and I will fill you, my children. It is time to release my glory across the earth. It is time to bring in the great harvest for God. It is time to release my glory, my children. Time for the great awakening of souls. Time for the harvest. Will you bow your knee? Will you give your life unto the Saviour? Will you be part of the great harvest, the great awakening in spirit and truth across the earth? Will you give glory and praise to the Holy Son of God, the Lamb, the Lion of Judah? Will you allow him access into your life to transform you into his likeness and image, to change and grow you and renew your mind? Will you allow him in? Will you trust these words, my words, that I am speaking with you now, the words of my Holy Bible, the words of my Holy Spirit? Will you let go of all ego and pride, all doubt, condescension, pride? Will you let go of these things which bind you and keep you from my presence? 
keep you from my glory, keep you from advancing further and further, higher and higher into the glory and presence of your Holy King. Will you come to him this day? Will you lay down your life before him? Will you allow him to enter, to come in and make his home within you? Will you trust me this day, my children? For we want only good things for your life. We will never leave you or abandon you. We will never forsake you on the earth. We wish to take you into paradise at life's end. We wish for you to be free on the earth, to enjoy this day, to be aware of your God's presence, to let go of all striving, to serve the one who created your soul, who created the earth and the universe, who created heaven and earth, the place where you will return to at life's end. My child, there is so much waiting for you on the other side and I do not wish for a single child to miss out. But you must make your decision this day. You must choose life and eternal life through Christ your Lord. You must choose me. There is so much doubt on the earth at this time. So many hearts have grown cold. So many hearts do not know me and do not care to know me. Somehow it has become a normal thing to not believe in your God, your Creator. My children, that doesn't change anything. I still exist. I still am. Do not listen to the words of man. Do not trust their words concerning your eternal soul. Take control, my child. Take authority. Just because those whom you know do not believe does not mean that you also have to follow their path, the wide path which leads to destruction. Do not allow another soul to convince you that I do not exist. For what do they know? They have only had a few short years on the earth. My children, you know nothing. You know only what is taught to you. I have left you my holy Bible to teach you of my ways, to show you and guide you generation after generation of writings of those who experience my love and know me well. Read my holy Bible. Start to read my Bible each day. Start to worship and pray. Speak to me, my children, and I promise to answer you. I am not a distant God. I am a God that wants to live within you. I am a tangible presence that wants to be with you, to minister to you, to help you through this lifetime. I am a God of peace and love. I am a God that can pour, pour forth love into you right now this day. I can pour forth peace, the peace of God that transcends all understanding, the peace of God which will guard your heart and mind through Christ Jesus your Lord, the peace and glory of God your Creator. If you have never known peace, then come to me this day. If you have never known rest, or joy, or love, come to me this day. If you are listening to this word, then I am calling out to you, my child. Do not forsake me. Do not walk away. Trust me. Trust me in this moment. I will not let you down. If you need healing in your body, pray to me. Ask and you will receive. Seek and you will find. Knock and the door will be open. 
Come running after me this day, my child. Come running back into my arms, for I want you to come home at life's end. I want you to dwell with me for eternity. I want to dance with you in spirit and in truth. For you are my beloved child on the earth. I created you, knitted you together in your mother's womb. You are fearfully and wonderfully made. I made you. I know you. I put the plakarahash of thoughts and desires and dreams in your heart. If you do not know me, my child, Iyahashikir is simply because you have not been born again. Lady Anaka, to be born again, you simply need to bow your knee, confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. Karahashikitikir, a promise, Karahashikitikiyahashikitikir, to follow me. Karahash, give unto me your whole heart and soul. Ask for your life to be turned around, turned in a new direction, my direction, the direction of your God, the direction of paradise, eternal life. Ask for me to come and make my home within you, to change and heal and redeem you. For Karahash, confess your sins, repent, Karahash, and be saved. I will come, my children. I will not hold back. I will never hold back my spirit upon someone who asks. All you need to do this day is ask, and I promise to come. I promise to come and make my home within you, to pour my peace upon you and set you free. This is the word of the Lord your God, now and forever. Amen.